Now we have an update on one of the Boston Marathon bombings victims who has family in Rhode Island. Les Corcoran is making amazing progress in her recovery after losing both of her legs in the April attack. And now thanks to a new pair of prosthetics, she's marking another milestone, running. Celeste's remarkable accomplishment was captured on video and she says she cries when she watches it. I was never a runner. I hated running. All the more stunning to see Celeste Corcoran running for the first time since losing both her lower legs in the marathon bombings. I feel myself getting stronger and stronger and more and more steady. Celeste has just returned from Prosthetic and Orthotic Associates in Orlando, Florida, where they fit her with new prosthetic sockets and running blades. Celeste first trained with a gait strap and then ran on her own in just two days. The first time that I did it myself, like I literally, like I just kept saying to myself, I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just did that. I just did that by myself. Celeste credits her family, including daughter Sydney, who was nearly killed in the bombings, with giving her the strength to take on new challenges. It's believing in yourself and not giving up and having that hope and taking help when it's offered and not giving up with each um, small failure. You can dig down deep and find that strength and that will. And I just want to have the best life I can possibly have. Really have to admire her determination. Celeste is now back home in Lowell, Massachusetts, where she has reactivated her gym membership. Her husband, Kevin, is a native of North Kingstown. Their daughter, Sydney, was also seriously injured in the bombings. She's now attending Merrimack College.